Okay. This door opens and this gate opens, okay? Also, by the way, I completely remember. Yes, if you run back burner pyro, flames can go through these doors. So be aware that most times pyros will try to flame you here and you're fucked again. <laughs> but pyro flames can go through these doors. If they fix it, let me know in the comments below. But so far, I haven't heard any CP still updates. So let's say your team is pretty successful on capping A. Nobody died yet. Okay. Your main call is going to be, let's do an A to E push. Okay. A to E push is basically pushing A to E. What you could do is... I wouldn't honestly set up a sentry here. You gotta, you gotta remember, like, the spawn doors. These still can open, right? So, what you wanna do is... The best sentry gun position... I know this seems kinda crazy and kinda long. You're kinda detouring around. But hey, these detours are worth it. So, um... Sentry gun right here. Now, remember this. As I wanna repeat this again. Make sure you got your sentry gun... And your team set up first before you jump on the point. Because as soon as you jump on the point, they're going to rotate their combo. Okay? So. And also. If you're doing an AOE strategy. Okay? If. If they do not have a pyro right here. You can easily go to right here. And set up again. Demo stickies. Heavy here. Pyre on this corner. You're set, okay? And your engineer's right there and can do an A to E strategy. Boom. That done. But if they kinda expect it and the, and like nobody's pushing through here this door for some reason, but they have a pyre right here, you do not want to put your combo right here. Never do that. Anytime you do that, you're gonna be air blasting to the pit and you're fucked. <laughs> so you do not want to go here. Same thing, you know. Here, here's what I used to do back in the day. Okay. I just told my engineer, set up D side. Soldier scout, protect them right now. So they're building, they're setting up like around here. They're not letting the team know like where we're at, okay. You could run your combo all the way here. Yes, time is ticking. But these things are all worth it at the end. So I'm running my combo all the way around. Demo heavy, pyro. My soldier, scout, and engineer are on D side. Look where I'm at right now. How they're gonna air blast me? You can't, right? Pause right here. They're like, oh shit. Combo's in my face. Say, we're in position. Set up right now. Get on the point. Right there. Now they're focusing on you. Level 3 is out there. Maybe sniper might be right here. Guarding the sniper side line. You know? If a level 2 is right here, soldier and scout right here. Snipers right here, protecting them. Doors and the windows. Actually, I don't think they can do the windows. But for sure, doors, for sure. Um, it's easy for them. You know, shoot wherever comes to your eye. Also seen a few snipers playing around right here, downside. Uh, but yeah, basically, you can run the combo tree right here. All the way around. What you could do, if you want to do it a little faster... And you're a brave ass motherfucker, you could jump right here. Bam. Simple as that. As a medic with a hundred percent Uber, like I said, if you're brave, right here. Okay? Now I'm not saying go over here now, that's the same thing as fucking you be around here. Now do not go up to here because you still get air blast in the pit now. Okay? So once you're down here, you wanna go all the way over here. So it is it is a little faster than walking all the way around now. And you meet them in the same spot. Combo in the face. Oh shit. What can we do now? You know? And once since your gun's on the point, your soldier and your scout. What actually once your combo is right here and their combo's right here, tell the team to get your ass on the point right now. And make sure the engineer's set up. If everything is good, you should have a, a successful A to E push. Ok, 
Okay, so, um, let me think. Oh yeah, okay. Let's say the enemy team is very, very smart for whatever reason, and your two strategies don't really work. Now, this is this is a plan plan. That's why I always say strategize and create more than one plan because plan A is to do a full E rush. Plan B is to do an A to E rush. Plan C is to do a distractional play. Distractional plays are you kind of fake like you're pushing E, then you put the counter like around right here, and you kind of like see like what they're doing, right? And they'd be like, oh shit, you know, everyone's going to this side, right? And you rotate back down to here. So they're kind of rotating their combo right here. And you can rotate it down to drop down. As soon as you drop down, you gotta kind of check for sticks. <laughs> Can't really explain that too much, but yes. And also, once you drop down, keep this in mind, you're kind of messed up. There's no way, as a medic, to back out. But, if for some reason, like... They're putting so much defense hold on uh, onto the A to E connector, whereas you have to kind of distract them or you have to kind of pull their combo towards you. You can by just faking them and making them think that they're you're pushing to like A to E side. So you can easily rotate down to connector, down to drop down, and you can do a full B rush from drop down area. And once you do that, you know, you can easily uber in, focus on sentry, maybe a power might be there. You probably keep the heavy round right here, make sure everything is a little bit timed in. At the same time, you have to get aggressive. So once they uber in first, you're gonna kite it in, and then re-push back in again, again. Um, For newer teams that really don't know what kiting really is, is basically trying to kite away from the uber to reposition yourself in the, re the best position where you can re-push in again. So that's what kiting is. So that's why I always say like, you know, if you're being first, you kind of want to like uber in, make the force, reposition yourself so you can get a better position, make them overextend to you. Because if they come out so far and you kind of want to re-push in on that again. And re-push in, play aggression or plays. So... Uh, as a heavy, you can probably play the ground here, shoot over these walls, it's uh, pretty pretty funny to do. Um, most times, power and demo is probably be playing around right here. And if you can try to go for a pick, go for it. If for some reason, you're... By the way, do not put everyone down to his drop down. Please not to. Because like, there's too many people one time. Um, if you could, heck, you can even put a level 3 right here, do the same thing. I've seen it many times whereas a team would use the uber here, and they fucking set up a level 3 because nothing is guarding right there. And if nothing is guarding right there, you're very lucky as a team, because there's huge flank is open, you know? Like, remember when I was going over the defense strategy, I was saying, like, oh, I'll put a soldier right here. If you don't have a soldier here, you can put a level 3 in, while your team is ubering in, you can set up a level 3, and bam. Right there. But pretty much, like, what's gonna come down to the uber pushes and uber re pushes is. Like, it's, um, one thing is, like, common sense, like, if this team counters second, you're gonna have to kind of reposition yourself and repush it. You do not want to do uber v uber every time and not do anything with it. You want to repush in on those plays. Because most times, if you're only doing uber v uber pushes then you're kind of going to be still mating it you're kind of be struggling it and then more time is going to be on the clock because you're waiting for building for uber you do not want to do that you want to re-push in as soon as possible as soon as you see an advantage like they're overextending or like they're kind of in a bad position you can easily beat them by aggression or if, or if one key play one key player dies like a pyro dies or a heavy dies or demo dies get aggressive onto that I do not like seeing teams waiting for Uber to re push in for something that's safe. This is like push in, you know? Play aggressive. So, uh, let's say B is clear and the team's backing up, capping, bzz, stuff. And, um, 
Let's say the enemy team is, is like kind of backing over here. Uh, you can. I'll beat them in aggression. You can kind of fight them right here. Dome and sticky, you know, simple there. Or you can push you this area. Most times, might be around right here. Because if they are right here, or if they are down there, you have the high ground. You gotta think about that. High ground versus no high ground. You should have the advantage. But most times, I don't think the team would probably be doing like a, a super for aggressive defensive uh, CDE hold. I, I recommend it because I have a strategy for this. But like, um, I don't think the team would probably do that. They'd probably look back all the way to C side. So if they do that for some reason, and if they do not have a sentry gun on E, here's the thing what I want to do. This is the reason why when I'm back on defense, I said like after they cap A and B, you want to set up on E already immediately. Do not put the sentry gun on C, is what, is what I remember. If you remember my defense thing, okay, because here's my strategy. After you cap B, this is called a C to E cap, okay? And for some reason, they have their full defense set up. Sentry gun, like, right there, like, where, where I said it would be. And they have, like, a dome man, heavy, whatever is around there. And you know the combo is, you can kind of fake, like, you're pushing out here. Kind of, you kind of kind of fake, you kind of fake, like, you're pushing from right here. Kind of fake, like, you're pushing right here. And what you could do, is you set up on E side. Put the sentry gun, opposite side of the spawn doors. Always put it on the opposite side. Cannon forces, you know. Do not put it right here. Spawn doors would easily... Their spawn would rape that sentry gun, basically. Put it right here. Opposite side, good. Now, C to E cap, okay? If you notice that the, the third thing is right here, call for it. Say, set up on E now. Okay? So, same thing. Sentry gun up. Level 3. Soldier and scout can get in a point right here. Most times, okay, most times combos are not gonna rotate to the other side. Most times combos are gonna rotate to here or to here. So this is the reason why as a combo, okay, once once your team is set up, fully set up, and you're in the right position, you want you wanna rotate all the way. So instead of waiting around here trying to push to um seaside, rotate through here. All the way from D to E side, right here. Let's see, should I, should I drop down as a medic? Yeah, I think you can drop down. Like, I would play like around like right here, to be completely honest. Like, you gotta think like, how you can easily back up as a medic, yeah? This is one thing I'm, I'm always thinking like right now. I'm thinking like, how can I back up? Like, it, would it be smart? As a heavy stand right here, I can't really see because I have a, a really, a wall right here. So if you want to play like right here as a heavy, that'd be pretty good. Medic can play right here. If you're heavy, we'll call like Ubers, but I think Medic should probably play like around like right here. Um, Pyro Demo, same thing right here. Demo Stickies right here. Heavy will probably be playing like around right here. Make sure everything is guarded to give that full potential. That's if they're coming right there, by the way. And I think pretty sure most teams will probably come to the spawn door than to um, meet with you. You know, I don't think teams will have ballsy enough experience, not ballsy enough experience, but I don't think teams will be ballsy and to like walk all over here and to try and meet up with you. You rarely see that. If they meet up, if they actually do this strategy, then you kind of have to ro rotate around there and make sure that at the same time their pyro is uh, not really blasting because if their pyro is like round right there, you got to play kind of passive and you have to kind of like angle your way and try to shoot things. While not being air blast at the same time. So that's if they're um they're trying to push into C to East side. And they have a power with you, but um if you have everything set up, sentry gun, you know, uh sniper shooting I guess from right here. I think it's be a pretty good sniper sideline from right here. Uh engineer right here, soldier scout right here, spy doing what he's usually doing. Uh, what else is there? Not really sure. <laughs> but, um, that should be a success.